Emerald Tablet 3, The Key of Wisdom, written by Toth, the Atlantean. What's very interesting about this chapter or tablet is that it's very similar to the preachings of Jesus and other um, great teachers that have um, come to mankind. Uh, so I'm going to start now. I, Toth, the Atlantean, give of my wisdom, give of my knowledge, give of my power. Freely I give to the children of men. Give that they too might have wisdom to shine through the world from the veil of the night. Wisdom is power, and power is wisdom, one with each other, perfecting the whole. Be thou not proud, O man, in thy wisdom. Discourse with the ignorant as well as the wise. If one comes to thee full of knowledge, listen and heed, for wisdom is all. Keep thou not silent, though, when evil is spoken, for truth, like sunlight, shines above all. He who oversteppeth the law shall be punished, for only through law comes the freedom of men. Follow thy heart during my lifetime. Do thy more than is commanded of thee. When thou hast gained riches, follow thy, then thy heart, for all of those are of no avail if thy heart be weary. Diminish though not the time of following your heart, it is abhorred of the soul. That they are guided go not astray, but that they that are lost cannot find a straight path. I'll read that again. They that are guided go not astray, but they that are lost cannot find a straight path. If they go among men, make for themselves, make for yourself love, the beginning and the end of the heart. If one comes to thee for counsels, let him speak freely that the thing for which he has come to you may be done. If he hesitates to open his heart, it's because of you the judge has done wrong. Repeat not extravagant speech, neither listen, or neither listen to it, for it is the utterance of one not in equilibrium. Speak not of it, so that he before thee may know wisdom. Silence is of great profit, and abundance of speech profits nothing. Exalt not thy heart above the children of men, lest it be brought down lower than dust. If you should be great among men, be honoured for your knowledge and your gentleness. If you seek to know the nature of a friend, don't ask his companion, but pass a time alone with him, debate with him, testing his heart by his words and his bearing. That which goes into the storehouse must come forth, and the things that are yours must be shared with a friend. Knowledge is regarded by the fool as ignorance, and things that are profitable are to him hurtful. He liveth in death, and it is therefore his food. <coughs> Excuse me while I scroll. The wise man lets his heart overflow, but keeps silent his mouth. O man, list to the voice of wisdom, list to the voice of light. Mysteries there are in the cosmos that unveiled fill the world with their light. Let he who would be free from the bonds of darkness first divine the material from the immaterial, the fire from the earth. For know ye that as earth descends to earth, so also fire ascends to fire. That's very profound. As earth descends to earth, fire ascends to fire and becomes one with fire. I think that's a reference to our soul. He knows the fire that is within himself shall ascend into the eternal fire and dwell in it eternally. Fire, the inner fire, is the most potent of all force, for it overcometh all things and penetrates to all things of the earth. Man supports himself only on that which resists. This is interesting. Man supports himself only on that which resists. So earth must resist man, else he existeth not. All eyes do not see with the same vision. For to one an object appears from one form and colour, and to a different eye of another. So also the infinite fire changing from colour to colour is never the same from day to day. Thus speak I, Toth, of my wisdom, 
little man is a fire burning bright through the night. Never is quenched in the veil of darkness. Never is quenched by the veil of the night. Hark ye, O man, and listen to this wisdom. Where do name and form cease? Where do name and form cease? Only in consciousness, <coughs> invisible, an infinite force of radiance bright. The forms that ye create by brightening thy vision are truly effects that follow thy cause. Man is a star bound to a body until in the end he is freed through his strife. Only struggle and toiling thy utmost shall the star within thee bloom out of new life. He who knows the commencement of all things, free is his star from the realms of the night. Remember, O man, that all which exists is only one another form of that which exists not. That's very profound. Remember, O man, that all which exists is only another form of that which exists not. Everything that has being is passed into yet other being, and thy thyself are not an exception. Consider the law, for law is all. Seek not that which is not of the law, for such exists only in the illusions of the senses. Wisdom cometh to all her children, even as they cometh unto wisdom. All through the ages the light has been hidden. Awake, O man, and be wise. Deep in the mysteries of life have I travelled, seeking and searching for that which is hidden. List ye, O man, and be wise. Far beneath the crust in the halls of Amenti, mysteries I saw that are hidden from men. After I have journeyed the deep hidden passage, looked on the light that is life among men. There beneath the flower of life, ever living, searched I the hearts and the secrets of men. Found I that man is but living in darkness. Light of the great fire is hidden within. Before the lords of Amenti learned I the wisdom I give unto men. Masters are they of the great secret wisdom, brought from the future of infinite's end. Seven are they, lords of Amenti. Overlords they of the children of the morning, sons of the cycles, masters of wisdom. Formed are not they as the children of men? Question mark. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine are the titles of the masters of men. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Far from the future, formless yet forming, Came they as teachers for the children of men. Live they forever, yet not of the living. Bound not to life, and yet free from death. Rule they forever with infinite wisdom. Bound in up bound to the door, dark halls of death. Life they have in them, yet life that is not life. Free from all are the lords of the all. Life they have in them, yet life that is not life, free from all are the lords of the all. Forth from they, <coughs> forth from them came forth the Logos. The Logos is some type of pattern or shape. Forth from them came forth the Logos, instrumented they of the power over all. Vast is their countenance, yet hidden in smallest, formed by a forming known, yet unknown. And this sounds like quantum physics. Three holds the key of all hidden magic. Creator he of the halls of the dead, sending forth power shrouding with darkness, binding the souls of the children of men, sending the darkness, binding the soul force, director of negative to the children of men. Four is he who loses, loses the power, Lord he of life to the children of men. Life, light is his body, flame is his countenance, freer of souls to the children of men. Five is the master, the lord of all magic key to the word that resounds among men. Six is lord of the light, a hidden pathway, part of the souls of children of men. Seven is he who is lord of the vastness, master of space and the key of times. Eight is he who orders the progress, ways, and balances the journey of men. Nine is his father, vast of countenance, forming and changing from the formless.